Um, they did some really good things. I think the stat that probably jumps out to me is their points off of turnovers. Like that's that's the game right there. If we take care of the basketball and those turnovers and we just miss shots, you know, we probably win the game. You know, we don't score the ball in any of those possessions, but now they're not running out and getting layups and uh, we're getting behind plays and fouling them and stuff. But um, yeah, just, you know, we, we didn't play well enough, you know, to get the win. Matt, what's it like preparing for an interim coach at this point in the season? Just what differences do you see from this Ohio State team today? Yeah. And maybe that you saw on tape earlier this season? Nothing. Nothing. What's if, he was, if he was here, the score would have been 73 69 Ohio State. Nothing. He's his assistant. They didn't run anything different. They didn't do anything different. They, they're the same team. It's a player's game. I know we got to organize. I know we got to structure. I know we got to get them to believe. We got to coach the hell out of them. But at the end of the day, it's a player's game. They have good players. You mentioned the turnovers. Uh, what stood out of Zach Key's defense? Yeah. On Zach Key. Yeah, he did a good job of stripping him. Like, I don't know, like, you know, whether he was just exposing it or, or Zed just picked up something, like a pitcher tipping something. You know, but like what happened today and him getting those strips, you know, hasn't happened much all year. He does a pretty good job of protecting the ball, but um, it was a big part of the game. You know, Zed's ability to defend and, you know, Akparo's, uh, you know, a shot blocker. So you, you want to get your body on Akparo as much as you can because when he has space, he actually is good on people that he guards, but he's good at his help side blocks too. Um, I wouldn't have thought that that would have helped them defensively. You know, by him getting out of the game, but it sure did. Zed did a good job. And kind of going off of that, not only were they good on Zach, they were good getting out on your shooters. Yes. And you're a team that shoots a lot of threes. Right. You only had, I think, nine attempts tonight. So right. How difficult was it where that was taken away and you couldn't get an offense for them? Yeah. Outside? And, you know, I, if you don't have them and they take them away, you don't want to shoot them. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, you still want to go. And I think what they really got us to do from a decision making standpoint. If we could have it back, like our intermediate shots, like I think we, we took some, we had a stretch there in the second half where we didn't take very many and we played better offensively in the first half. We had too many intermediate shots kind of in between a pull up and a floater to where it just wasn't, you know, you know, something that you would think is a strength of ours. Now, if you get in a low clock and you get some of those, like you, you totally understand it. Um, but, you know, give them credit. They, they defended well in the post. They guarded the three point line. Um, their attention to detail defensively um, was big time. And like, but if you like their pieces, like I, I told our guys, like, like don't look at their record. Like Jamison Battle, Ark Parr, the guys that start for them, um, they can play anywhere in the country. So, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell. So I tried to tell our guys. I just said, hey, I, I recruited a couple of those guys. I said, we've watched them. We've watched them on tape. Sometimes in basketball, you're just not good consistently. Like one guy plays well, the other guy doesn't. You're like, when can we get these two guys to play well together? If you have three guards like they have, like if, when can we get two of them to play well? And you look at that tonight, like Bruce Thornton played really well. You know, Jamison Battle played really well. Roddy Gale just didn't get as many opportunities as those guys did. But you look at their bench on top of two of their three top guys playing, then you get their, their bench was better than our bench, all right? So you get that. That's, that's the game. That's what you need. But they haven't gotten that consistently. That's why their record's there. But don't doubt their ability. They have a lot of ability. They have talent. They have good basketball players. They just haven't been consistent together. And maybe this win can help them kind of push on like they did last year because they were damn good at the end of the year last year. That two games in a row now, was that the first half foul? Was it? Yeah. Things kind of changed after that. What, what did you do better tonight after he went out? It seemed like a rebounding. Right. Yeah, I think that's where you start with. Like, we, we have to get those possessions. Like, we got to take care of the ball. We got to rebound the ball. And then when he goes out, you know, that's going to be an important part of the game. You know, just getting on the glass, not allowing second chance opportunities. I'll have to go back and watch. It's kind of tough to comb through in terms of, you know, possessions and everything when he, when he went out. But, um, yeah, we got to do a better job. You know, he's gotten a couple, um, but it's part of the game. Like, sometimes you get one and you're, you deserve it. I know the one that he drove, he's, he fouled, and that was right in front of me. Um, the one where they took a charge in the open court right there, I just saw the tail end of it. But um, I just don't like those charges when the ball's not involved. They tried to do another one right there. Like, you just can't take an open court charge and the ball's not involved. It's just not It's not a basketball play. But he called it, and so be it. Yes? You said how uh, compared to the same team regardless of right. who was coaching. 
did you expect a different type of fight, atmosphere, and all the other things that aren't X's and O's as far as Ohio State team has been through a week like yeah. this and, and you know, coming out with probably right. a different level of pride or whatever right. it might be? I think what's in balance is the, the psychic of your team. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what you don't know about. Like, like what are they going to do? How are they going to respond? Um, you see it in Major League Baseball all the time. They, they change the manager, and they win four out of five, and then they go back to being who they were. Like, you know what I mean? You get that. I don't think in basketball you get that. Well, this doesn't ha happen a lot, obviously, in college. It happens a little bit, but not, not very much. So that's what you just you didn't know. So, you know, we fought hard to be in this position. And... Um, you know, when you say you're going to get everybody's best shot, you think that's just kind of like a folk tale, like whatever. But you get everybody's best shot. Like you get – so prepare for it. I've always said in preparation, prepare for their best. So when you see some guy averaging four points, he got a scholarship to Ohio State. You know what I mean? Like he just hasn't got the opportunity yet to do more because somebody's in front of him. But if he does get that opportunity, like understand he's a good player. Like I have good players that play 15 minutes. You're like, well, why do you play in 15 minutes? Well, Zach Eady's pretty good. Braden Smith's pretty good, right? You got people in front of you, but don't doubt their ability as a player. So you're you're always trying to fight that because it's human nature with your own players, no matter if it's this scenario or not. But that's the one thing that you just don't know. Can we get them down and keep them down? And then, like, you know, they go away, right? Which obviously didn't happen. They win the game. So, you know, where, where's their fight and what's there going to be? And I think they answered that. Their fight was, their fight was great. And they were very productive. You mentioned uh, you saw these guys right. in the Big Ten tournament. What, where does this team look compared to what you saw like, a fight in that team? Yeah. Um, would you say this is their best game today? I know it's the – yeah. I watch on film, and I turn the I turn the volume down. So I don't mess with, like, environments and like, broadcasters. And stuff like that. So we I just, Alabama. yeah, we beat Alabama too. So you got to outscore them because they can really, really score. So you know they, they're like Roddy Gale is is a tough cover. Bruce Thornton's a tough cover. Jamison Battle, like I thought, Klesman did a great job on Jamison Battle at Wisconsin. His attention to detail was better than our attention to detail, it just was. And so we got to be better in like areas like that, not to contest their shots, but so they don't even shoot them. Because once you let a guy like that get his head up and you see like that last one they made, you know, that's, that's a tough shot. But, you know, I, I think they're right there. I think they wanted to see that surge, you know, a little bit before. But to their defense, like you don't, you know, you don't set your conference schedule. Like some things are difficult sometimes that are out of your hands and then it kind of snowballs in the wrong direction. And But, no, I, I think they're right there because they have good pieces, you know. And then defensively, um, defensively they were better tonight. I can say that from watching film. They were better tonight than they have been. I think that's the one area. Um, but I think you'll see a lot of coaches. You'll see a lot of coaches say that no matter what. Like we're, we're kind of greedy in that area. We always want our teams to be better defensively, right? But I, I think today, I think we can honestly say you guys cover them um, that they were better on that end of the court. And then now, when you throw in there, they made some shots. You know, they produced some steals. They got in transition. Their bench played well. There's just a lot of positives there. Um, that they you know, now they're going to hope to you know sustain those. Matt, uh, your bench does a lot of good things, especially defensively. A lot of the times you got four points from them today. Mason obviously had a quiet day. Do you need more scoring from your bench? We need more production from our bench. Like, and that's what like I kind of talked to our guys <coughs> afterwards. Like, you know, when I played, I'd always want the truth, and the truth hurts a lot, right? Um, but like if. You're a better offensive player than a defensive player, you know, be a two-way player. Like, we need more guys that, if they're out there because of offense, to be better on defense. They're out there because on defense, be better on offense. Like, just accept the truth. It's just like as a coach, like, I've just always tried to accept the truth. And when you can do that, you know, you can fix things. So I think that's, I think that's the challenge for us is when things don't quite go our way, can we hang on our defense and get stops and grind out a victory. We've done that this year. We didn't do that tonight. We're there the last week. Um, Matt, you talked about the rebounding and of course on turnovers. Yeah. What were some of the similarities you saw in this game and in the games you played against Nebraska and Northwestern? Yeah. Um, 
our three losses are all turnovers. I think this is the lowest turnover. I think it's 14, 16, and 17. I think we got an outlier in there where we've had something in between 14 and 17 and we won. But I think everything else has been, was it Rutgers? Rutgers. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, like, our record is, like, off the charts in, in, since I've been at Purdue when we have fewer turnovers and more rebounds, like 151 and 15 or something like that. Um, but when they out rebound us and they have fewer turnovers, which that didn't happen tonight, we're six and 48. So you can kind of see the importance of those stats, right? They're, it's off the charts. So like, if we just go, so they have six turnovers and we have 14, so we're not even close. We can't even say two possessions, right? So give them credit, but also like, we got to generate some turnovers too. And, you know, give Ohio State credit, you know, for that. But I, I would say that's where the common denominator is if you're just picking out in those games. Now, Nebraska made some really tough shots. Northwestern made some tough – they scored more in that game. I know uh, North, Northwestern definitely scored more. Um, so you, when you let good players get their heads up, now you can actually do some good things and they still make shots. Like Jamison Battles, that one shot at the end, like that, was, that wasn't bad defense. Um, but the other two, just to kind of let him get free and to get his head up, and that's all good players need. Last one, Brian. That kind of leads exactly to what I was going to ask you. I think in your three losses, these are just turnovers, but I think they're the opponents average 20 points off of them. Yeah. Something like that. There you so go. Something about the type of turnovers that the team yeah. has. I, mean, I know they come in all shapes and sizes, but there's something. Right. The common denominators to why your turnovers. Yeah, well, to you know, well, tonight points. the lion's share was, you know, Zed Keys. You know, hands. He had. The, I would say that was the most. If you're trying to dissect the total um, with it, I'm trying to think in the other games. Um, you know how those turnovers were. I, it's not coming to me. But like tonight, that's. You know, that was the most uh, kind of prevalent thought. As you know, get the basketball down low. You got to protect the ball. You can't expose the basketball. So you know, give him credit for it. But um, you know, we got to learn from it. Uh, we. Won nine straight, is that right? So we, we had won nine straight to this game and uh, put ourselves in a great position, and we just got to be better. We got to play better. But give credit to Ohio State. I thought they were really good.